What's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up JavaFX using Maven Build in IntelliJ. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to open JetBrains.com where you can download the IDE. And it provides two options to download, the Ultimate version and the Community Edition. So the Community Edition is free to use, and but it has uh, lesser features than the Ultimate version because the ultimate version is a paid version. So let's go to the pricing page where you can see the uh, price, obviously. Okay, so for individual use or for personal use, if you want to uh, create an application for commercial use, you can use the individual use, okay? You can download the ultimate license for uh, 169 for the first year and the second year, will be 135 and third year onwards is 101. All right, so if you are a student or a teacher, you can have, you can also have the ultimate license if you have an education email. So let's go here to, at the special offers tab. So yeah, for students and teachers, if you have an education email, you can apply for for an ultimate license for educational use only. For open source projects, you can apply here, learn more, and you can get the license if you qualify their requirements. All right, so let's proceed to our IDE and let's create a JavaFX project using Maven. Okay, so in this window, I'm gonna click on new project and this window will show, this window will show and select JavaFX and I'm going to name the project to JFX and the language will be Java and the build system is Maven and group is it's optional but I'm going to name this to com.kinsoft.ph all right and the artifact uh, I'm going to leave it as is and click on next and if you are if you want to use these libraries you can select these libraries here but i'm not going to use this and i'm going to click on create so the maven is uh, needs an internet connection to download dependencies from maven central and all right it's i think it's done downloading okay so let's go here this is it this is our JavaFX project using Maven. So let's go here at the this button, the gear button, and let's go to, let's open the project structure. And let's go here at the libraries. So as you can see, this is Maven, Maven, Maven. This is, this was downloaded from the Maven Central. And let's close this window. That's it. And if you are, you, since the JavaFX Maven is a modular one, if you want to use the JavaFX other modules in JavaFX, you can go to pom.fx, I mean XML file to download the other, the other dependencies in JavaFX. You can, if you want to use the JavaFX uh, web, media, media or web, you can download the dependency like this. I'm going to copy this dependency here and paste it below. If I want to use the uh, media, the media class, I can download the dependency here, media. All right. And I'm going to refresh the Maven since I made a new changes here. All right. It's downloading, I think. And let's go here to our source folder and we also need to add a new line of code here which requires JavaFX that media okay yes I guess that's it and to run our application we go here to the con the current file and edit configurations click the plus one and select application. This is 
JFX and select the main class. This one is the main class. Okay. And apply and all right. Okay. And we can run the application. Yes, it's running. We can click hello. Welcome to JavaFX application. We can also modify this right here. And this is the stage title or the window title. We can add a new word for hello world. And we can also uh, open the FXML file in scene builder, right click and open in scene builder. All right, I can resize the layout, the VBox layout, which is here. And I can add a new label here. Search for label and drag it inside our layout and name this as Java FX Maven. Click enter, hit on enter, and save file. We can close this. And let's run application again to see what it looks like. All right, the changes has been made. Hello world, Java FX, and click on hello button. Welcome to Java FX application. All right, that's it. So if you are wondering how to create a jar file in Java FX using the the IntelliJ idea, you can go to project structure again and select artifacts, click the plus button, select the jar file, the jar, and from you must select this one from modules with dependencies. The dependencies the dependencies is will be included in this jar file. So select the main class and extract to the jar to the target jar. Select that and resources you must to check this one because it is necessary to run a jar file okay resources yep that's good and click on apply and okay all right so to generate the artifact we can go here since this is a new ui of the intellij ultimate and click this one menu and build we can build the project as well and let's build the artifact build artifacts here so, and click this one click this button right here the build or rebuild clean if we have to clean it will remove the jar file so let's build the application let's build the jar file okay it's not responding build finished it's not responding the artifact is not responding uh, it will it should uh, generate an output folder here let's build it again oh it's working okay so it's it generates an output folder here and this is our jar file so I guess it's it has an issue with building the artifacts. It should work. It this one this these buttons here should work, but it's not working for now. I think it's a bug. So I should report this to JetBrains. All right, that's how you that's how you generate an artifact in IntelliJ. Okay, so let's check our jar file open in uh, Explorer okay let's double click mm -hmm. it's not running so let's try to run using the command line so type in Java dash uh, jar and the jar file name jfx.jar 
JavaFX runtime components are missing to run this application. Mm, what's the problem here? So it has an issue when uh, running the jar file. So my solution for this one is Let's try creating an, uh, another class. Uh, run main. Let's, let's try this one. I hope it works. And let's create a new line. PSVM for the shortcut of private static void main. And call the, and specify the main class here. Hello application dot main and arguments okay and let's go back to our project structure and let's remove the jar file let's create it again and this one select the main class so i'm gonna select the run main class and click on okay and and click on okay all right apply and okay all right so let's uh try to clean the artifact no it's not working so i'm i i'm gonna delete this one and let's build it again so since this but these buttons here are not working for now so i'm gonna click this right here all right it's building as you can see it here all right and it's here again so I'm going to open it in Explorer and let's try to double click it. I hope it works. Yeah, it's working. Okay, let's open it again. Okay, it's working. Let's try to use the command line. Java jar jfx dot jar. All right, there you go. That's it. That's how you create a JavaFX project and create a jar file using IntelliJ. So uh, I hope you learned something new in this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share, and I will see you in the next video.